And it feels so lightweight. Now I'm a foundation free girl. You are just better off using a foundation. If you've seen, you are not the only one. I see many of you guys following my makeup tutorial, yet still put excessive amount of concealer or any base makeup product that you might actually need. In this video, I'll be talking about five concealer techniques you can use to get a good coverage using small amount of makeup product. So let us begin. First thing first, spread first, apply second technique. The first technique involves spreading the product first and applying it, which is useful to cream or liquid products. So then what is this technique about? It is a technique I use when I use a concealer for a wider area, like under eye area. For this technique, you will first place a concealer on the back of your hands, blend with your fingertips, and apply onto your under eye area. One of the pros using this technique is lessening the dryness and patchiness. By blending the concealer with your fingertips, it melts a bit with the warmth of your fingers. It allows you to spread the product and apply the product much better. Especially if you're a person with lots of wrinkles around your eyes, using a dry sponge or a brush could make your wrinkles more visible. It is good to melt the product first and make the product stick to your under eye area with subtle touch. It is then easier to apply to your skin, reducing the likelihood of patchiness. Since liquid concealer comes up more than you might actually need, so it requires you to adjust the amount before using it. Another pro of using this technique is the flexibility of coverage. After covering the area you want to cover with one layer of the product, you will see the final look. If you think you need more coverage, you could add one more layer as well. But if you apply a concealer with just one swipe, you might come across the look of applying too much concealer. To provide a better understanding, I will demonstrate the difference. One side is applying a concealer right onto my skin. I just play the concealer one directly onto my skin and then blend with a sponge. While on the other side, I use this technique. I apply a concealer on the back of my hands first and then blend with my fingertips. I also added some coverage by adding more layers until I get the coverage I want. Overall, you can see how natural it appears while still providing decent coverage. So please remember that your hands are the best tools than any other makeup brushes out there. In terms of choosing a right shade of concealer, I already made a video about undertones and how to choose the right shade of concealer or foundations. To give you a brief guide about concealer shade, I highly encourage you to choose a shade not too light, especially when you are trying to cover your under eye dark circles. If it's too light, your under eye area might look ashy. It might appear perfectly fine at first, but as you go through the day, it becomes grayish and creates a worse effect than not applying anything. So it is good to choose the shade matches your skin tone or is slightly lighter than yours. The next technique I would like to introduce is drawing the thin lines. If you learn about concealer technique for a wider area, now it is time to learn for smaller area. Drawing thin line techniques is perfect for covering under eye dark circles or eye bags. Even if you put a concealer under your eye area or eye bags, you might still see that triangle areas or thin lines that haven't been covered yet. For this, we have drawing thin lines technique. What we need is high coverage concealer and small concealer brush. As I said previously, if the concealer shade is too light, it might make you look too ashy. So please select a shade that matches your skin tone or a slightly lighter to brighten the area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small concealer brush and then apply a concealer of my under eye area. If you just apply all of your under eye area with thick heavy concealer, it will make your look cakey and create a heavy look. So I prefer to use a small amount where needed, applying it as if I were merely touching the surface and then blending. 
If your main concern is under eye back, with that one deadline, using a concealer pencil would be a great option too. Basically, you are going to find the lines that you want to cover and draw the thin lines over. The next technique is pinpointy concealing. And it is for covering acne or small blemishes. This is a technique you might learn from Lisa Elbridge's video or any Korean makeup artist's video. It is a technique you would only target the exact area you want with using high coverage concealer and a small concealer brush. What you need is same for drawing thin lines, small concealer brush and high coverage concealer. But the difference is that we have to be more dimensional at this stage. If covering under eye dark circle was two dimensional, which you would only need to swipe one way, covering pimples or bumpy parts of your face is three dimensional. Let's say you want to cover the spot. You might put the concealer one directly and then you just blend over. By blending, the coverage will be less and in the end, the spot you wanted to initially cover will still be visible to you. You might also cover some areas that don't need any coverage. But when you use the technique, it'll be different. You will put the concealer onto the exact area. Rather than blending all over, we are going to carefully blend the edges, not the whole concealer area. By doing this, you could leave your concealer to settle and still cover the area while looking natural by blending the edge. Rather than placing a large amount of concealer to mask a small blemish, you could see how small amount of product could effectively cover the area. Next technique I'd like to introduce is let it dry technique. It is a technique that you will place a concealer and let it dry for a few seconds to get a high coverage. By watching this video, you might think that maybe I should get high coverage concealer, but you might not need to. If the concealer dries, it enhances the coverage by evaporating the moisture. You might have experienced that the entrance of your concealer bottle has a thicker consistency and it seems like it has more coverage since it has more air friction than the product inside the bottle. So you can use it when you cover dark hyperpigmentation or dark spot because it gives you more of coverage so you don't need to buy a new high coverage concealer. I love putting my everyday go-to rare beauty concealer on the pimples or spots where I want more coverage and letting it dry for a few seconds because it's been hard to find that perfect high coverage concealer matching my skin tone. So please try this technique when you need a high coverage on smaller areas. It will save your money and give you a variety of options when it comes to coverage. Last but not least, pushing in technique. It is a technique that you could use to hide large pores. If you ever struggle to hide your large pores, you might have tried to use a primer, but that one not actually worked since the silicone can be just slippery onto your face while not doing anything to your pores. At this stage, you could use the pushing in technique with a concealer or any foundation with high coverage. All you need is a buffing brush and a concealer. Basically, you are pushing the concealer into your pores and then hiding them. So whether you are using a sponge or a brush, you are just trying to push the product. I have relatively large pores on my nose, so it looks very obvious since the area is the only one with large pores. But once I done this technique to hide my pores, you could see that it is almost invisible. So finding the right shade of concealer for your skin is the most effective and affordable way to do all your base makeup. So these are all five concealer techniques that I'd like to introduce for natural yet effective base makeup. I hope you find this video very helpful. I know this might look all complicated, but I could guarantee you that if you find the right shade and right formula of concealer, you wouldn't need to buy any other base makeup product out there. All you need is the right technique and maybe the right tools. Just please watch this video over and over and practice it until make your base makeup perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.